Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rukaya and I'm sharing my life experience as a housemaid in Saudi Arabia. So let's get started. Today my topic is my first three months struggling in Saudi Arabia. It's not easy <laughs> and it's funny. <laughs> Number one is the language. Eh? It's the language. So when I first year, I don't understand the Arab. And my madam also don't understand English. She understand, but a little bit. So communication is very difficult. <laughs> communication is very difficult. So when you want something, until you do sign, you use your, your hands, do sign, and maybe you understand. If you don't understand, Hmm, so it quite difficult the language. First my first on my list the language and it's quite difficult. But now I can express myself a little bit, but not all. So alhamdulillah for that. And number two is the weather. When I I came here cold period, what is it called? Is it a winter or what? <laughs> I came here cold. It's very cold. I came here first. Is it January? During January, I was here. So it's very cold for me. Oh, my country is too hot. Too. Ghana, Ghana is too hot. So when I first came here, the coolness, I can I can wear three clothes still. <laughs> and I don't understand. I said, what? What kind of cold is this? So... The weather is also the problem for me when I first came here. And number three on my list is the food. Mm? It's the food part. So, they will cook a food and I don't like it. What will you do? You would eat it like that. So, it's quite difficult for me to absorb the food. And why? A little bit, a little bit, and they will cook, and I will eat a little bit until I notice the food. So even now, sometimes they will cook a food, and I will not like it, and I will leave it and cook rice in it. So the food part there, at a still now, they will cook a food, and I can eat it. The language is very funny. It's very funny when you are in a place that they don't understand your language and you also don't understand their language. <laughs> so it's very funny for you to communicate. <laughs> I am laughing. It's very funny for you to communicate. You do like Mumu Sayo. <laughs> and all the same. I would say Alhamdulillah always. So when you want, they want to send you, it's a problem. And you too, if you want something from them, it's also the problem. So you do a sign. You do your hand. Okay, you use your hand. Or, or if your stomach, you stay, you point your stomach, my head. And a little bit, a little bit, they understand. And sometimes they will use a translator. In their phone to understand what you mean so it's very funny for me but now okay but now you can you can express yourself a little bit but not all but what you want and what you need you can even communicate and love and do everything so today this is my topic and I will see you guys in my next video Bye-bye, masalama, stay safe, peace.